friends. Hello, vintage lovers. Welcome to a haul video. These are all items that I picked up today, or actually over the weekend. I went to three different estate sales. You know what? I also went to a flea market yesterday. Uh, my husband had a gig about 30, 40 miles from my house, so I did get to go to a smaller town and experience um, a couple of antique stores and a flea market there. Um, this, The goodies that I got from the antique stores will be in a haul video probably tomorrow, possibly later tonight, depending on how I'm feeling, which is kind of the point of this video. I need to be real. I want to be real with all of you. I consider you all my friends. And today's been, oh, well, not just today. The whole weekend has been kind of rough. Being a reseller is so much fun, and I am so glad to be doing this. It truly does spark joy. Hi, Marie Kondo, if you're watching this. <laughs> I know she's not, obviously, but I have so much fun reselling. I love digging through treasure. I don't mind getting dirty. I enjoy doing the live sales. I have a lot of fun doing haul videos like this. eBay and Etsy, hmm, I, don't, I don't really mind them most days, but I have just been extremely busy over the past week or so, and... I kind of wanted to be real with you. There are so not so glamorous parts of being a reseller. And I thought it was worth mentioning today. Um, it, I, it may have topped out about 100 degrees today. I know it was 98 degrees when I left my last estate, estate sale today, about two, I believe, you know, We've been really lucky so far in Dallas and this summer. It's only been over the past couple of days that it's gotten really hot. But the problem with that is that it was also really, really humid. So I think I'm a little dehydrated. Um, I'm drinking electrolyte water, pH water. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better. But yesterday, even indoor <laughs> antique malls were hot. Uh, walking through the town square was hot and today the two estate sales we went to there were a lot of people there because it was the last day that's genu genuinely when they're the most crowded either their air conditioner was not on or the doors being open so much it, it didn't matter so it was you know an afternoon of completely sweating through your clothes digging through dirty garages and, you know, I know that most of you realize this is hard work. And I personally, I have not had anyone complain to me about pricing or anything like that. But I felt it was time to be real with you guys. You know, it. there's never a day off when you're a reseller. At least not for me. It's funny because Gina, Gina and I have both talked about, oh, we're going to take Sunday off. It never happens. <laughs> um you know, Sundays are good sourcing days for me, but, you know, when you're selling items on eBay and Etsy, and especially with eBay, you want to keep that top seller rating, so you're shipping out items every day, you know, if you're lucky enough to, to have items sell, and you're posting content like I'm doing right now, which I do love, so I'm not really complaining about it, but I'm just mentioning, you know, there are days when I'm up until 2 o'clock in the morning and waking up at 6 or 7. And again, I'm not complaining because I'm so glad that I'm doing this. I'm having a great time. But I think there are people out there, and again, not necessarily people that come to my sales, but there are people out there that complain about reseller prices. And I just kind of wanted to set the record straight. You know, you're traveling a lot if you're a reseller you're going to estate sales if that's how you source which is my favorite way of sourcing i don't have any really good flea markets here um you know close to my neighborhood in dallas so estate sales especially on the weekends uh, when they're usually discounted are 
the best places for me to source. I do go to Goodwill and a couple of other thrift stores, but to be completely honest, they are hit and miss, as I've, as I've mentioned before. So, when you're doing this, you're gone for most of the day. And today, when it's summer in Dallas, it's, you know, pushing 100 degrees. So, it's physically exhausting. When you're trying to look up comps, and it's a crowded estate sale, you can get overwhelmed, you can get mentally exhausted, which that on top of the mild heat exhaustion I had today was, it was pretty brutal. And I realized when I got home, I said, oh, I need to do a haul video. I was supposed to do a couple of haul videos last week and things just got busy for me. I'm not trying to make this a poor pitiful me kind of video because it's not. But I am still in physical therapy from my car accident. And Gina and I had three sales last week. So I spent an entire day invoicing, uh, which was Friday, after doing our live jewelry sale on Friday morning, which was so much fun. I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as Gina and I did. It was fun to go through that bag live and to sell jewelry. It was just, it was really fun. I was a little sad that I had to leave early, but I had to get to my doctor's appointment. But, you know, when you do that and you have a night owl sale, like two nights before that, and then you have your regular sale the night before that, you know, it ends up being a lot of work. There is a lot of work that goes into getting ready for a live sale. People probably don't realize it, but... You know, it takes time to go through your items to, you know, decide what to pick. Or if you're doing a theme, what kind of theme should you do? And I personally always go over every item I've picked just to make sure I didn't miss any chips or cracks. And to run comps if I'm not sure about the price of an item. So, again, I'm not saying this to get anyone's pity, but I'm just kind of wanting to explain what it's like to be a reseller. And in particular, to be a vintage reseller on YouTube. You know, the more videos you do, the more subscribers you get. You know, and that's obvious. The more content you put out, the more people, you know, come back and watch your videos. So I am trying to do more, more videos. And I will be better this week, I promise. I still have some items that I got last weekend that I haven't had a chance to show in a haul. And I did do some shop with me at Goodwill, shop with me videos, excuse me, at Goodwill. And I haven't had time to actually sit down and edit those videos, but hopefully over the next few days, I will get that done. I had a lot of fun doing that. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Any sort of criticism, whether good or, you know, constructive or, or bad criticism is very much appreciated so thank you for that and there's my little rant it's not even a rant it's just me kind of explaining what it's like to be a reseller and I am grateful that I have people like Gina to talk to I do get a lot of information from her you know she specializes in glass so I got to to learn a few things from her today about the space I picked up yesterday but Enough of that, on with the haul. Okay guys, these are again items I picked up over this past weekend. I think two of them are from an antique mall and the others are from estate sales. Okay, so this is probably not gonna be too exciting to my, my vintage followers, but I picked up this purse at an estate sale. You know, I, I don't know a lot about luxury purses, well, I know enough to know that Michael Kors is, of course, a very good brand to pick up. I do not know how old this purse is. Um, I'm assuming it's pretty new. It's in really, really good condition. I'm not lifting it because I have some books behind it that I want to show you, and I want to move the purse out of the way after I show the purse. Um, it's this really pretty red color. I hope it's showing. It's more of a bright red. It's not like a rust red, so I'm hoping you're seeing that. 
I'm going to gently move this purse to the ground. I have not run comps on this yet. This will likely be, well, it will be an eBay item. It's, it will not be on. It might go on Macari if I decide to go that route. That's something I've been contemplating. I've heard a lot of resellers are doing pretty well in Mercari these days. So, I may start cross-listing. I'm not sure, but it will definitely go on eBay. If you're interested in this or anything else you see, please reach out to me. I'm happy to work something out with you. You can email me at calypsoantiques at gmail.com or you can DM me on Instagram, calypso underscore antiques. And just let me know if you're interested in something and we can talk about the price and hopefully work something out. I'm very appreciative of, of those of you who have reached out to me after seeing a video. I like selling that way. It's a lot of fun. Okay, <laughs> I'm just opening this up. So, I do watch some other resellers, and I can't remember who it was. It's probably Froggy. Froggy Flips. And a little shout out to Froggy. I know he, he does not watch my videos, but you should definitely check him out if you're a reseller or if you just like watching um, somebody shop. He does mainly garage sales, and he does now have a booth at an antique mall so he is doing pretty well and I love watching his videos but it was either him maybe Commonwealth pick or somebody else along those lines um, was speaking about mad books kind of being their bread and butter so this is the first one I have ever picked up it is from 1969 which I thought was kind of cool I got this one at an estate sale I want to yeah, here's the copyright, 1969. Um, it's in, you know, really good condition. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But apparently, <laughs> mad books have never really gone. Um, well, have never been not collectible. I guess a lot of people love the humor in them. And I do too. That's pretty funny right there. <laughs> Brain operation. This will probably go on eBay but if you're interested in this too let me know okay this next book this book is so cool guys so I've got to be a little careful because I've got so much on this table but this is a star spangled kitsch book oh my gosh so this is from 1975 I have not spent a lot of time looking at it but I definitely do want to show you some of it I'm just trying to be careful again so bear with me the first um, page that I opened with an illustration on it reminded me of Vinny, Vintage Vinny, and I'm sure you will know why as soon as I show it to you. How cool is that? It's funny because we are doing our red, white, and blue sale on Tuesday on Gina's channel, so this will probably be in that sale. This is so cool. Um, it is about Americana Kitsch, and <laughs> I'd never seen anything like this, so I had to pick this up. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but it just kind of goes through everything Kitsch related to Americana, and I think it is super cool. There's a lot of praying hands in here. Um, I like there's the Ten Commandments movie. Uh, this is just really, really fun to look at, and I love it. From what I gather, this is kind of a rare book. So if I put it in the sale, it will likely be an offer up or a higher priced item because it is so hard to get. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, I will not spend any more time on this. These other two books I picked up, and I might actually keep them for myself. I'm not quite sure. Whenever I see collector's books, I do tend to pick them up. I'm old school. You know, I, I do watch YouTube for, you know, information um, from other collectors. Like George, the Antique Nomad in particular. But I'm also old school in that I like to read. So, I think I probably will read these. Maybe keep them. Um, I may sell them in a live sale at some point later on, but this book, you know, I didn't even look at the year. Let me show you. 1969. Um, but it talks about special edition items and what's collectible and what's not. 
So it's a plethora of information in this book. Most of it is black and white, but there are some color pictures in here as well. So I thought that was really cool. I got these three books all at the same estate sale. Um, this one is all about jade collecting, and I thought that was really cool. I do have a jade necklace that was my grandmother's. Ooh, there's some dust in there. Um, this book is from 1978, and I really am interested in checking out this book. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love Asian art, painting, ceramics, you name it, jewelry. So I do look forward to reading that book. I think that's really cool. I also picked up some jewelry at an estate sale. And I do believe, yes, all of these pieces of jewelry did come from the same estate. I got this brooch. I think it's absolutely adorable. These two kittens, or cats, I should say. Uh, one of them on the pedestal leaning down at the other one. This is a pretty big brooch, guys. It does not have... A maker's mark. I have not researched it yet, but I had to get that. I mean, come on. It's a cat and it's a brooch. So that was a no-brainer. I also picked up two pairs of clip-on earrings. These are actually Koro and they're really, really nice. I believe these are probably from the 80s just based on the style, but I could be wrong in that. I hope the camera's picking up. I can see that it's reflecting a lot, but those earrings are really nice. And I also picked up these gold tone green enamel. How funny, these are close to Jade. <laughs> um, that was not planned, but I thought these would be great for summer. Um, really cool color. And I believe these were unmarked. Yeah, these were unmarked. I know you can't see it, but they're unmarked. I feel like my focus is not working. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, I also picked up these two choker collar necklaces. That's what I would call them. Uh, these are from the 80s, and I picked up a silver one as well as a gold one. They were actually in their original packaging. It was just a plastic bag, so I did go ahead and take, take them out of the bags. There was nothing fancy on them but they are from the 80s and I think they're both really cool. The 80s are back big time, guys. So grab it while you can if it's something that you're trying to collect. Okay, I also picked up this brooch at an estate sale and I thought this was also perfect for summer. This is also a larger brooch. Um, it does not have a maker's mark either, but it is enamel. It's in great shape and I just, I love the detail. I love the little painted parts. I think this is a really, really pretty brooch. This may go into Tuesday's red, white, and blue sale. I was hoping to have more patriotic items to put in the sale, but I don't have a lot. So you'll probably be seeing a lot of red, white, and blue items in general, but I still have a couple days. So maybe I'll have some luck thrifting. We shall find out. Okay, I also got these. Now I did get these at an antique mall. And these are 1950s Japanese salt and pepper shakers. And I just thought they were cute. These are the first ones I've ever picked up. There is a little bit of damage uh, to the salt shaker, and I will show you that. They do have the original corks. Um, these are not an original pair, I don't believe, because the pepper is a lot bigger than salt. And they, they have different corks, so. I'm pretty sure they are not the original set, but I think they're really cool anyway. And this little damage right here um, is some wood, a little bit of like wood chipping there on salt. And I don't think salt appreciates that chip at all. <laughs> salt is not happy. Yay, it finally, finally focused. I'm here. Let me see if I can get the pepper to focus a little bit more too. Yeah, I think these are so cute. I love Japan Kitsch, so I had to get those. Okay, speaking of Japan, I found these beautiful Odagiri dolphins. Oh my gosh, guys, these are in such good shape. I got these um, at an antique mall. 
when I was out of town and I think I think this is just lovely it does still have the Odegiri tag there on the bottom um, there are no chips or cracks on this figurine at all it's an excellent shape and I love it love me some dolphins and sea creatures okay so this this is so pretty I got this today at an estate sale and this is Staffordshire England and it is bone china I love this piece there's so much detail in it this maybe wouldn't be something I would normally pick up I don't tend to buy a lot of um, bird figurines with flowers I don't know why I just don't normally do that but something spoke to me when I saw this I believe it's a mama bird and her two babies and this one in the middle he looks pretty hungry he's got his mouth open but I wanted to show you the detail in this it's just absolutely beautiful uh, the flowers are still intact there's a couple of chips I'm not going to try to show them right now this will probably go on Etsy I believe this is probably going to comp um, at a pretty good price so if you're interested in it, let me know. Like I said, you can email me or DM me on Insta. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a higher priced item, so I probably won't put it in the live sale. Um, I was just wanting to show you where it is marked here by Bone China. And it was designed by JT Jones. And I have to admit, I don't know about JT Jones. I'm gonna have to do some research um, about him. But look at the detailing. Even the grass is beautiful. The flowers are beautiful. I just love this piece. And I love the birds. I just think it's so, so pretty. Speaking of pretty. Okay, so I found this at an antique mall yesterday again when I was out of town. And I walked past this twice. And I was about to check out. And I went back because there was something about it. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was the color, the, the detailing, the shape. But when I, and I didn't just damage, I didn't damage it just now. I just hit my finger with it. That's okay. Uh, when I was checking out at the antique mall, the woman uh, checking me out said she had been looking at this vase for several days and, and wanted to purchase it herself. So I asked her if she knew anything about it, and she said that she didn't. I believe this is blown glass. It has a clear bottom, and it is rounded off here. I could be wrong. I just, I don't think this was mass produced. I really don't, and I think it's stunning. Even if it was mass produced, I still would have bought it. I think it's just really cool. It does need to be cleaned up a little now that I'm seeing it. Well, it's not too bad. Um, but, of course, I will clean it up some. And depending on what I find out about this, it may go on Etsy or it may be in a live sale. So, again, let me know if you're interested in it. I know there's a lot of people who come into our sales that are, appreciate glass. So, this is a stunner. I think it's so cool. It's perfect for this time of year. Oh, it's so pretty. I couldn't stop looking at it yesterday. And every time I walked past it at the antique mall, I would look over at it, walk away, and then come back, look at it, walk away. So I'm glad I finally decided to get it. Even if no one's interested, I would keep this one for myself. I think it is so, so pretty. Okay. The next item I got was at an antique mall as well. And this one I'm keeping. This is a creamer. I think this is likely made in Japan, but it's not marked. It's an excellent shape. I love the face of this owl. I think this is awesome. So he'll be going up there on my permanent, permanent collection. Oh, I love him. When I saw all of Kim, oh my vintages, owls on Katie's show. Oh my gosh, I was so jealous and so happy for her at the same time because she has some amazing pieces. Okay, this is heavy. Now this is USA Pottery 
and it's a planter as you can tell it kind of has this native american design to it i have not um, tried to date it yet or run any comps i haven't had time to do any research on it yet but i had to get this i thought this was really cool um oh, i just love it i love the design i think it's really really special okay gotta move the mad book oh i almost forgot this so I got this matted print um, at an estate sale today as well. This uh, painting, I believe it's from 1983. And it does have the information here on the back. Um, the artist, oh, 84, I'm sorry. I was off by here. Um, the artist is Nancy Glazier. And it is based off of the hymn, The Spirit of God. I love the use of color in this. Of course, it's you know, animals, so I was going to pick it up probably anyway. I think this is beautiful, and this probably will go into a live sale. I know there are people out there that would really appreciate this that, that watch our videos. Okay. Bye, lion. Bye, bye, sheep. Okay. This purse. Oh, my gosh. This purse may be hard for me to sell, I have to admit. Um... There's a lot of paper on it for some reason. It does have a little bit of damage right here um, where this part attaches. And I think it's something I can definitely fix myself. It just needs to be, I guess, glued back on. It is genuine leather. I love how it kind of has this fan shape here on the bottom. Um, it's in great shape other than this which I think that's probably just for normal use, don't you? Um, it's great on the inside. I don't know if I can hold my camera and show it. I think I can. It's just a beautiful bag, and I got it at the same estate sale as a Michael Kors bag, so um, someone really cared about purses, and I had good taste, in my opinion. Okay, this. This is so cool. This, obviously is a box and it is hinged. It's another wooden box and let me see if I can open it. Take a look at that purse again. Yeah, there we go. It's in great shape on the inside. I have not done any research on this box yet. Um, looks like it has a number here on the bottom. I don't know if this is Indian. It could very well be. It seems like it has some age to me at least. I think this is probably from the 70s. But I will find out, and I will let you know. And this will likely go in a live sale as well. I know a lot of you um, appreciate boho, and this is very, very boho. Okay, look at this dog. Okay, this is a terrier, and he is nine inches tall. I mean, look at that face. He is in really good, good condition. He did have a sticker here that is long gone, so I am going to remove that before he goes in a live sale. But look at him. I love long neck dogs and cats, so when I found this guy, I had to get him. I found him at the antique mall as well. I mean, just look at his face. And like I said, he's tall. He's nine inches tall, so he is He's a good figurine. Okay, I got these bookends at an estate sale. And they are really, really cute. They're so 70s. Look at this. I just had to get these. Look at the sun. Oh my gosh, I'm just not noticing that. Uh, I thought these were so cute. Perfect for a child's room, a girl's room. Or, you know, if you're someone who collects boho or 70s items. Um, this I think this side was exposed to the sun. And this side is not as faded, but it does have a little... A little bit of a scuff right there. I think I can probably fix some of that. Uh, I just haven't had time to yet. But look at this. Look at the details. I just, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so I also got this today. And this is a piece of original art. It is an Arizonan. <laughs> I cannot talk today, guys. I think it's the heat artist and her name is Mary Welsh and oh you know what it actually says it here in 1983 I don't know there's something about this that struck me as well I love it I think it's beautiful 
I've only been to Arizona once and I had a really good time. I would love to go back. Um, this frame is very 80s as well. I kind of like it though, I have to admit. Um, okay, yeah, the name of this piece is Foothill, uh, Mary Walsh, 1983. And it has her business card here as well, which is kind of cool. I just think this is stunning. I love the colors in it. It's so cool. I mean, look, it goes with all these boho things, doesn't it? And the last thing I'm going to show in this video is this hat. Now, I thought maybe this hat was from the 80s. And the reason why is it's suede. And it has this fringe and this rope or lariat um, type of leather. But the tag looks a little bit older to me. I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. I have not researched it, so I don't know for sure. But it's chevaux, which is French for hat. It's in really good shape. It, it may need a little bit of cleaning. I did um, loosely and gently run a lint brush over it. I got most of it off, but it looks like there's some dust back there as well. So please excuse that. I think this hat is really cool. And I'm really glad I got that. I got another hat that I'm wearing, but I will take it off to show you guys. I'm keeping this for myself. I do go to a lot of outdoor concerts and um, events, so I thought, you know what, I deserve a present today. I'm out here in this heat working, and of course, I loved it because it has this purple and pink trim. So that's very me, and man, this was honestly needed. Well, it's nine in company, so it's, you know, part of the Nine West brand, but anyway, I just thought it was cute, so this is staying with me. I can't wait to wear it, hopefully to another concert soon. I hope everyone enjoyed this haul video. I hope everyone also had a great weekend. Jean and I are having a pop-up jewelry sale tomorrow morning, so I will be, I'll probably post a preview video. Um, it will be on my channel, and it'll be about 10 Eastern. Maybe a little closer to 1030. I need to confirm with Gina on that. But it'll be very similar to Friday's. Unfortunately, I don't have grab bags left, I don't think. But I have a bunch of jewelry. Uh, costume and actual sterling. So I will be bringing the jewelry tomorrow morning, guys. And we look forward to seeing you there. I'm going to try to post a preview video to kind of give you an idea of what I'll be selling tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys can make it. And as always, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I just realized something as I'm looking at this. I did not show this. Okay, so I do collect, uh, dragon wear. And this is stunning on its own. This is Wales Japan, which is a really good brand if you didn't already know that. But this is my first piece of litho vein. Look at her. She is a naked lady in the bottom of this cup. I was so excited to find this. This was at an estate sale today. Um, it also has the whale sticker there, which is kind of weird, but that's okay. I'll keep it there. Um, I just loved that I finally found one with actual litho vein in it. Um, it's beautiful. I want to say that the whales dragon wear is more high quality than the other pieces I have. I might have to do a video and show you um, my small, my small collection of dragon wear. I love it. I'm a dork at heart. I love dragons. Although, I was about to say, I love Game of Thrones. I did until the ending. <sighs> I digress. I've been a nerd all my life, so... I had quite a few dragons in my collection, so when I discovered dragon wear, I started collecting that as well. Definitely let me know if you have any questions, and like I said, reach out to me if you're interested in anything, except for that purple hat. That's mine. And that, that owl creamer is mine. I don't think you could talk me into selling that. I was going to say you could try, but I don't think that's happening. Okay, guys, like I said, I hope everyone had a great weekend. I'm sorry for the rambling and... I'm just really tired, and like I said, the heat got to me, but I wanted to get a video out. I still love this face. Thanks for your support as always, and do.
comment and like share with your friends all of that does help with the youtube algorithms I'm trying to get me and gina to 200 followers hopefully it won't be much longer i will be doing a giveaway and i will post about it and maybe do a video about my next giveaway soon i think it's going to be a piece of glass not a fairy lamp okay take care guys have a great rest of your weekend and i'll see you soon bye